going on everyone we are back at the Asugol necropolis once again and this is for a hidden chest number four uh this one is opened by a pressure plate again it is over by the uh soda mission that you complete as you can see the pressure pad is right here on the floor and just across the way there's the door that it opens it is just a uh, gun chest in there um but you know you might get some legendaries on it uh, right here on the map is where we are. I'm standing right next to the pressure pad right now. There's the soda factory. And just down the way to the south is the room we're trying to get into. Uh, now this one was a bit difficult for me. The timing on this one uh, is, is really quick. I actually had to use my kill skill stack twice. Uh, and it is this one right here. I'm the spore warden. Uh, it gives me movement speed plus 20% per stack, and it only stacks twice, so 40%. And I have to kill two enemies for that, For and it gives me 15 seconds to go ahead and pretty much keep that movement speed. So uh, just kill two enemies in the nearby area. Thankfully, they spawn, uh, and you'll see that right here. We're going to get the stacks down below. It's going to look like uh, feet, and it's going to have a times two on it for me. Go ahead and hit that pressure pad once you've got that movement. Jump over here to this ledge, grab um, grab onto it, jump over here into the room, and it's going to close just in time, actually. So here's the chest. The only other way I can see doing this is in co-op. Uh, there might be other ways. I can't see why uh, the developers would make it to where you can't get in there uh, very easily, or not that all builds could get into it. So I'm sure every build has potential to get in here. Uh, if you guys found this useful, please like and subscribe. Uh, please leave any comments you have in the comment section. Thank you.